Hi everybody, it's Rafael Varona, illustrator and animator from Berlin, uh, with another quick tutorial on some things that I find really, really cool in Adobe Fresco, uh, namely the brush settings and the multiple uh, color picker. So um, Fresco actually adapted a lot of really cool options from Photoshop, um, but there's one thing that is really unique in Fresco, and I would like to show you uh, which one, which is the multiple color picker. And um, so, in Fresco, you have this option, you know, that you just click on any uh, layer, on any color in your illustration, and it will immediately uh, just show up as a color for your brush, for your brushes. So let's say this one, you know, and then you just draw, and you have the same color, so I can recreate this uh, plant, you know, that uh, I already created, which is quite cool. Um, let me just clear, not delete, but clear the layer. Uh, but... Um, you know, I'm a big fan of Rousseau, and uh, Rousseau has this uh, sort of uh, jungle plant with that brighter stroke around it, that brighter outline uh, that I love a lot and that I actually copy uh, a lot in my illustrations. And I would like to show you how with the multiple uh, color picker, you can actually just create that uh, without having to, you know, draw, like let's say here, you draw this one plant and then you pick this color and you draw the outside here. Let me show you how with this trick you can do that quicker. So you have uh, that helpful circle, you know, on, um, in my case, on the top uh, left corner, I'm gonna press that. And at the same time, you can press this button. Uh, again, you know, the color picker, and this time it will actually choose multiple colors from your palette, uh, from your illustration. I want to have certain colors, so let me just quickly create those. I want to have this one. I'm going to do that here. And I want to have this one. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. That's almost too big. Okay. And again, smaller. That's the stroke. I'm gonna go a little bit closer now I press on the um, other button and I press on the color and you see now in the preview of your color section the a circle on the left that these colors are actually showing you see here and I want to have these all right I'm gonna go even a little bit closer there we go all right let me clear this layer And now check this out. We actually have those chosen colors as one brush stroke for the colors itself. And there we go with these like Rousseau-like plants, you know, that I like a lot. And you can do that in any uh, size. Let's make a bigger one. It saves you a lot of time, but it's also really beautifully natural looking. You can do that in any size, but also let's say um, you would like to actually create it in a little bit of a different color. You know, you don't have to necessarily uh, go back to, um, you know, picking new color combinations. You could also go into your uh, color settings and um, work a little bit in the HSB sliders, hue, saturation and brightness with the hue. You see, if you turn this around a little bit, you can go into different color options based on that color combination that you have. Now, I do like this one, but the saturation is a little bit too high. I'm going to go down a notch. Let's see how that works out. Now, you see, the nice thing is that since it's based on your uh, original color pick, it sort of fits, you know, color-wise into your illustration. But you can try that out. There's uh, many options when you go here into colors. But also, uh, don't forget to, if you want to have this effect of, um, you know, the plant starting very thin and then going thicker and thicker, you can actually play around in your brush settings with that. You can even go, um, for example, to spacing, you know, and then you can just see what happens there when you uh, work with the same brush in uh, 
with these different options, you can also go and go into shape dynamics. And I have, uh, in control, I have pen pressure put on. If you take that out, you know, then you just have fixed strokes and that's it. Wait, now I have, of course, the spacing on. All right, so you see, pen pressure has to be sort of on all the time in order to get that going. I think that's a pretty cool tool to just test out, you know, because you can use it in any um, brush that you have, of your favorite brushes, for example, but also in your oil brushes. So let's say uh, we use this one, you know, and it has its own sort of beautiful effect that you can actually use here with the different combinations. And also what's nice, like all your uh, trials with uh, different color combinations are actually saved in your recents folder. Uh, when you go uh, to your color settings. So let's say, uh, you know, this was the one that I had before. And you have it here again. This is now the oily version. I go back to my brush. I put pen pressure on. And there we have it. All right. We can clear that. And then you see, you can just play around with this. I think that's a beautiful option. Try it out. I hope this was helpful. Bye.